In this presentation, we're going to look at correlation with SAS. And in particular, what we're going to do is look at the PROC core procedure, the correlation procedure for SAS. The data set we're going to use is called Virginica, and you can find it at my website, kobryndublin.wordpress.com. Just go into the SAS section. So the Virginica data set is comprised of four numeric variables. That's it. Sepal len, sepal width, petal len, petal width. And essentially it's petal length, petal width, uh, sepal, sorry, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Now this is a sort of subset of a very famous data set called the Iris data set, which I'm going to use in a few other examples, but I just went for a very simple, uh, simpler uh, version of a subset of it just for the sake of simplicity for this presentation. So the first task we're going to do is compute the Pearson correlation coefficient for sepal len and sepal width and find the corresponding p-value. I'm not going to talk about uh, how, uh, interpreting too much for, just for the sake of time, but it's actually handy to know uh, what the null hypothesis is. The null hypothesis is that the true correlation coefficient between the two variables is zero. So this is, we're in um SAS here now and this is the editor and this is the first this is a script that's available on my website and it is how you can access the data. So we're gonna submit that. Okay, that's the log down here that's just says everything's okay. Now what we're gonna do is run the procedure proc core. Okay, let's do that so so let's just go down here to the bottom and start the new procedure. So PROC CORE. Now the data set is called Virginica. So data equals Virginica. Okay. Now the variables we're going to use is sepal lang and sepal wid. So the two variables we're going to use VAR, sepal len, and sepal with. Okay, that's it. It's very simple actually really. Just state what pr uh, procedure we're using. The data set, very simple. The variables that you want and now we're just going to run that. Now this is a very simple example here how to do things. So we're going to submit that there now. Okay, looks good. Now where are our results? If you just go here to the top left we see results and what happens is this folder has just appeared. So let's have a look at that. And whoops. There we are. So first off we have some simple statistics, just gives you the um, the number of observations for each case, the mean standard deviation sum. Not particularly important. What we're looking at here is the uh, correlation coefficient. So we have a little matrix here. It's a 2 by 2 matrix. And on the so this is the correlation coefficient of sepal len with itself. That's not interesting at all. But this is the correlation coefficient between sepal len over here and sepal width. It's where those the the row and column uh, titles there. So the correlation coefficient Pearson correlation coefficient is not point four five seven two three. So th that's weak. Uh, positive linear relationship. We also have a p-value here and the p-value here is 0 0.0008 okay and we in the, with a p-value like that we reject the null hypothesis. What is the null hypothesis? It's written right up here essentially the under the null hypothesis the true correlation coefficient is 0. So when we see this p-value p-value is really really small, we reject the null hypothesis, we conclude that the true correlation coefficient is not likely to be zero. So that's the first exercise done. Let's go back and look at our next task. So compute the correlation matrix for all four variables. Okay, so let's go back here to SAS. Now this is actually much easier because I've actually, let's go back to our editor here. All we have to do we could actually add in the two ex uh, other variables here. Let's just actually do that. It's actually a sort of long-winded approach. 
So we'll add in petal then and petal width. Okay, on that. It'll work. There we go. That's it there. I'm going to go back to that. So that's actually the proper outward output that we're looking for. Now, I'm just going to go back here to the editor. And what we could also do is just get rid of this line altogether. And just press, you don't specify the variables, just let it be all of the variables. So again, we have the output there again, just like we had the last time. And we have the correlation coefficient, uh, co the, the case-wise uh, correlation coefficient, the pairwise correlation coefficients for each uh, variables. For example, petal len and sepal width, the correlation coefficient is not 0.40104 with a p-value of 0 0.0039, and so on. So we have a 4x4 four four matrix, and where appropriate, we have p-values to help us interpret the correlation coefficient. So, that's the second exercise. It's actually quite simple. It's sim simpler than the first one. Now, compute the covariance matrix. So we're not computing a correlation matrix. We're going to compute a covariance matrix. Things are a little bit different now, so I'm going to sort of... Uh, make things a bit tougher here. So let's go back to SAS here again and let's go to our script editor. I'm going to close that down. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to additionally specify covariance. So things are sort of simple enough so far but now what I'm doing is I'm adding in extra uh, options or arguments to the uh, script. So we have PROC CORE uh, correlation procedure. The data set Okay, so far so good. We always have a run step at the bottom, but now I've added in an option, COV. COV is for covariance rather than correlation, the default option. So let's run that there, submit that. Okay, and let's look at the output. And let's bring, sorry, the output here. So what we have here now is the covariance matrix. So it's added in the covariance matrix here up at the top. Now we have the correlation matrix down here at the bottom as well. We're not particularly interested in that. What we have here is the covariance matrix as well. So it's, it has the variance for each uh, variable, or each of the four variables, but also has the covariance for each pair of variables. So for example, petal length and, sorry, sepal length and petal length we have a covariance of 0 .0, 0 0.303 to and so to it and so on. Okay, so that's the covariance. Whereas let's say sepal width, that has a variance of 0 0.10400 and so on. Okay, that was easy enough. All we had to do is actually just additionally specify cov. Now compute the Spearman correlation coefficient for petal length and petal width. Now previously what we've done here is we have tried to, we've computed the Pearson correlation which is the most commonly used correlation coefficient. What we're going to do here now is use the Spearman one instead and the point with the Spearman one is that it is a non-parametric procedure so it's a different type of procedure to um, the Pearson one. Now actually to be honest with you it's not really this data set, one would use the Pearson correlation coefficient as what's natural. But I'm going to just use the uh, compute the Spearman correlation just to show how it's done, even though this is the type of data set that you would use it on. So let's go back to our editor. Okay. Now the two variables that we're going to use are first off VAR, petal length, and petal width. Okay. Now what we're going to do is actually right where I have uh, had a, this is where the cursor is now, yeah, where the mouse is now is where we uh, have type in the additional options. So I'm going to type in Spearman there to specify that we're going to compute the Spearman correlation coefficient and we'll submit that. There we have it there. The Spearman correlation coefficient is 0.36 291 with a significance value, p-value of 0 0.0096. So that ends this presentation.